वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर वन फोर्थ चैप्टर लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स रिव्यू एक्सरसाइज बिफोर गोइंग टू डू द एक्सरसाइज लेट अस लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज अ लाइन ड्रॉ द पिक्चर ऑफ ए लाइन ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर इन्फिनेट नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स लाई ऑन ए लाइन एंड ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व द एरोमार्क सिंबल ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द लाइन it indicates that there is no starting point that is no initial point and no end point it is infinitely extended on either side now let us take ray draw the picture of a ray and also observe that there are infinite number of points on a ray and on the left hand side observe that there is one initial point and right side symbol arrow mark symbol indicates that there is no end point now let us see what is a line segment draw a line out of infinite number of points on a line let us take four points now cut at a second point and third point then a part of the line will come outside and name the initial point is a and the final point is b so ए बी इज ए लाइन सेगमेंट इट इज नथिंग बट ए पार्ट ऑफ ए लाइन नाउ लेट अस डू रिव्यू एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑब्जर्व द फिगर एंड नेम द पॉइंट्स लाइन सेगमेंट्स रेस एंड लाइंस फ्रॉम द फिगर सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट टेक पॉइंट्स ए बी जी सी डी एंड ई आर आर इंग्लिश कैपिटल लेटर्स now let us take line segments the line joining points ab the line segment joining points ad and ae the line segment joining bc bd be cd and last de now rays starting from b ba ray starting from d the ray da starting from e e a and starting from a ae starting from b be and starting from d de are the rays now last line here the line is passing through the points a b d and e so it can be named as ab or ad or ae bd or be or de now let us do second problem observe the figure and write intersecting lines and concurrent lines solution intersecting lines two lines which cross each other are called intersecting lines in the above figure the lines l and the line p are crossing each other at a single point so the lines l and p are intersecting lines concurrent lines three are more lines which passes through a single point are called concurrent lines in the above figure the lines l m and n these lines are passing through a single point so the lines l m and n are called concurrent lines now let us do third problem draw a line segment pq is equal to 6.3 cm solution take a scale or ruler starting from 0 draw a line three lines after 6 that means 3 mm after 6 cm now name the initial point as p and the final point as q now the line segment pq is equal to of length 6.3 cm now let us learn what is an angle it is a combination of two rays take an initial point o draw a ray through it so o a is an initial ray and take another ray o b is a final ray 
then the distance from the initial ray to the final ray in anti clockwise direction is called an angle it is denoted by angle aob or angle boa now let us do fourth problem name any three possible angles in the adjacent figure solution first take angle poq is the first angle in the figure and second angle is angle por is the second angle angle pos is the third angle angle qor is the fourth angle angle q wo yes is the fifth angle angle r wo yes is the sixth angle or the final angle now let us do fifth problem write the types of angles you observed in the given clock solution in the first figure the angle is acute angle which is less than 90 degrees in the second figure the angle is in l shape so it is a right angle which is equal to 90 degrees in the third figure the angle is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees so it is obtuse angle in the fourth figure the angle is straight angle which is equal to 180 degrees now in the fifth figure the angle is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees so it is a reflexive angle now sixth problem one right angle is equal to dash degrees it is 90 degrees so one right angle is 90 degrees now seventh problem write any two acute angles and any two obtuse angles Solution. Two acute angles. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Let us take 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees. All are less than 90 degrees. Two obtuse angles. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Let us take 95 degrees, 120 degrees, 175 degrees. 95 degrees is greater than 90 degrees. 120 degrees, 175 degrees are less than 180 degrees. Now let us take 8th problem. Observe the parallel and perpendicular lines in the given figure. Write them using symbols. Parallel and perpendicular. Solution. Observe the lines L and M are at equal distance. So the lines L and M put the parallel symbol in between them. So L is parallel to M. Observe the lines L and the line N. Both are at 90 degrees angle. So they are perpendicular. So L is perpendicular to N. The line M and the line N are also at an angle of 90 degrees. So they are also perpendicular. So M is perpendicular to N. Now let us do ninth problem. Measure and write angle AOB with the help of protractor. Solution. Put the base of the protractor on the ray OB and now measure the angle in the anticlockwise direction. The ray OA is showing 40 degrees angle on the protractor. So angle AOB or angle BOA is equal to 40 degrees. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.